Hello good people of the internet, this is Yardstick and these are my picks from the Sim Raceway progress and ladder. First car on my list is Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X. This car was the only free car you had when I started to play this game long long time ago. Everybody who has this game has driven it. Some like it and some don't and I am one of those who mostly don't like it. It's all wheel drive and thus relatively easy to handle, but it will punish you for every mistake you make on track. It takes some true skill and smooth driving to make any kind of good lap with it. If you have the patience, this car will teach you a lot. And there's always events available for this car. Sim Raceway Kart This kart is a great fun to drive. Those who drive real life karts often complain about the brakes making the car too twitchy. So by all means turn on the ABS and lower the brake pressure so you don't lock the rear wheels that easily. But even with these minor problems it's a great car that can teach you a lot about racecraft and racing lines and entry speeds. And this one is Lola Sim Raceway F3. This is one of those cars you either love or hate and I hate it. It's almost impossible for me to drive. This car brings out all the bad habits and lack of skills I have and it rubs it on my face. Really hard. It has generous amount of torque so you have to be extra smooth and careful with your accelerator. On the other hand, this car goes very smoothly over the limit so it gives you a good early warning before it tries to spin. Despite me hating it, this car can teach you a lot about pedal control in very short time and that's why I took it on the list. Uh, take it for a spin, drive 20 laps with it every now and then and you'll see how much better you do with other cars after that. Try it! Mazda MX-5 Miata This is the first car on the list you actually have to buy and in my opinion it's the first one you should buy. There's almost always an event for this car so you get to drive it often and it's practically an old British sports car made in Japan. It's rear wheel drive and it's not overly powerful and its suspension is made of fluffy pillows or chocolate pudding or something like that. But driving it is lots and lots of fun. The feel of limit is great so you get to squeeze everything out of the car and the track and your skills when you shave tens and hundreds out of your lap time. It costs 250 credits or 25 cents in real life money. 250 credits means something like 15 finished quick races, so you most likely can earn this much in one night in Sim Raceway. You don't even have to win anything, just finishing laps will do. Mini John Cooper Works. This one is a good front wheel drive companion to the Miata. It costs the same 250 credits and in my opinion it is slightly easier to drive than the Renault Megane RS250 you get for 500 credits. Uh, this could as well be the first car you buy in this game if you are more into front wheel drives. It's quite recent addition to the game so I can't say how often there will be events for this one. But so far it looks good. Subaru Impreza WRX STIS206 Goodness what a name. 
four-wheel drive rally car. Many of these cars punish you for your mistakes, but this one is the one you get to punish back. I believe I have never managed to do a decent lap with this one because I just have to throw it around and drift with it and eventually crash. It's almost impossible to drive a lap without driving this car sideways around the corners laughing like a madman. If you are looking for a car for easy drifting and having fun, look no further, it's right here. It is 1250 credits or $1.25 in real money. You're gonna love it. Renault Formula Renault 3.5 this is one of the few formulas I actually like in this game. I'm not very fast with it and to be honest I pretty much suck with it but despite my horrible lap times and lack of skill and success with it I absolutely love driving this car. In a way this car is a stereotypical French lady. She is touchy and unpredictable drama queen with plenty of fiery temper and attitude but all this fire is delivered in elegant package with a bottle of champagne and well roses and high heels and it will love you even if you make mistakes with it. You just fall in love with this car. It won't rub your bad habits in your face like the F3 does and it costs 1500 credits or $1.50. There's no events for this car every month but they come up frequently throughout the year so check the events list before you buy this but anyway this is a fun addition to your collection. Then another French lady, Renault Megane Trophy. If you know you are going to buy only one car in this game, here it is. It'll cost you 1500 credits or $1.50. In my opinion this is probably the best car in the game at the moment. I also know many disagree with me about this one but this is my video. It's fairly easy to drive, rear wheel drive and it's uh, clearly a race car. It has good aerodynamics and a lot of grip so you can blast around the corners and brake late and accelerate early and it will just dance for you. It's not overly powerful so it's great option to be your first car too. If you don't like the Miata then maybe this one. It's fun and easy, but it will teach you a lot about the tracks you drive on. In my opinion, the only negative side about this is that the default suspension is made way too hard. Going over the curbs is not a good idea with this car, unless you get open setup and are able to soften it up slightly. Hard suspension also makes the car go very fast over the limit. It's most of the time like on tracks, but when it decides to spin, there's no way to recover it from it. It's gone and it doesn't give you any warning about it. If you are going to buy only one car in this game, buy this one and you won't regret it. That's all for now, folks. I am Yardstick and thanks for watching.